Hello, Lisa Fry, the Catholic unschooler, but I really am a homeschooler now. But I still am an unschooler at heart. I know I've said this many times, but I have to explain myself in case there's any new people. Any new subscribers that receive daily prayer. Actually, I have to do my novena. I'm searching for a husband. Only by St. Joseph, though. He was the foster father of the Holy Family, so that is exactly who I'm relying on. Why? Because it all goes through God's grace anyway. But he chose him, so I'm choosing him as well. Because God knows everything. So, uh, the siding off my house. Yes, that's right. It's off my house. It's coming off. That's what they're doing right now. They're taking the siding off my house and it's very nerve wracking because even though I have the funds to do it, you never know, is there anything else going to be done? You know, are they going to say, oh, there's a disaster under here? I don't want to know anything. All I know is St. Joseph, that's for you too. St. Joseph has my, he's in charge. I'm just the secretary. I want nothing to do with it. He has my house, my cars, and my property. Everything belongs to him. I want nothing to do with it. I just am the secretary. I'll make the phone calls. I'll make the appointments, but it's not mine. Might be under my name. Did I tell you that yesterday I got a will? I think I did tell you. Yes, I did. Okay. I told you about a dozen times, she said. Okay, so the feelings of being single and missing Mr. Fry and all of this, so much anxiety. So what I said to this gentleman in my group last night that I, that I now go to, um, I said, you know what, let's keep our minds off of ourselves. You pray for me and I'll pray for you. And that's exactly what I did. I prayed a little bit for me and a lot for him. And, um, you know, trying to make my house a home. We are cooking carcass this morning, actually almost this afternoon. And uh, we're gonna make tacos and I gotta get out of here. We have an appointment in 45 minutes for an eye doctor for Sarah. And because she's going, um, I don't wanna say the word. Um, I don't wanna curse my darling. All right, so she is doing school. And um, Seth better be doing school. I'm gonna put my glasses on. I hope you don't mind. Sometimes there's a glare, all right? So trying to make the house a home after your spouse goes to heaven is very difficult for me because I don't know my role anymore. Before I could just, as you know, you go see my other videos, I'm, I was always standing right here, right? I was always standing right here being Mary Poppins. You know, they picked the wrong person for that new movie of her. No, they should have picked me. I would have been so much better and I'm not kidding. I kept watching that going, what is wrong? Why do, why do I not like this actress for this part? Because she was so strict and stern like the entire time. That's not Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins is strict and stern, but she also has a very loving, kind smile. So, <laughs> so we are just cooking up some tacos here. I'm trying to find my, my place in this world and know that God is providing. So last night's message at the group was, um, you know, what do we put in front of, you know, in place of God? What are we trusting more in than God? And mine was like, what gets in my way is like thinking about my future, you know, as though like I have to have it all planned out. And it's true. God gave us a brain. We should be proactive, you know, like when you're a student. Can I put you in the cabinet like the old days? Oh, yes. <gasps> How magical. Yes. There you are. Hey, Paisan. All right. Can you see me? Oh, the phone is ringing. Hold on. So mine is planning out my future, but the thing is, we're gonna hang up on them. Okay, that was spam. So my thing is, is planning out my future, all right? I let that kind of block me from God's plan for my life. That's just the handle to the... So, and I get all nerve wracked. You know, if I don't have my plan, then I'm a mess. So, am I in fact trusting in God when I'm a mess? I have to get an eraser, hold on. Isn't there an eraser over there? Hold on, hold on. Here you go. Okay, so, you know, so, but here I am making plans for the future, but the thing is, I need some taco seasoning here. This is a good one. Cumin. So, in the, in the Bible, right, the scripture that says God has plans. Did he, did he say, I have Lisa's plans? 
No, he didn't. He said, I have plans to prosper you, um, to give you a, a hope and a future. So, you know, I just look at my life so far. When, when Mr. Fry was alive, I would say, God, who's going to die first, me or Steve? He doesn't have a future for everyone, though. Yes, of course he does. No. That scripture it's is for everyone. Dire, like, that was their future. That's their plan. That's great. Well, to go be with him. She's talking about babies. Um, sorry about that. I cut you off. So I have to, so I used to say to God, who's going to die first, me or Mr. Fry? And I'd say, well, if you, if you take Mr. Fry, I'll be, I'll have to take care of everybody and I don't, I don't work. So I think you should let, you know, me go first because Mr. Fry can take care of everybody. So lo and behold, huh? So here we are. So when, when I was saying all this to God back then, I would always say, well, but if you keep me alive and you take him first, I'll just have to trust you because you've been taking care of me my whole life. When I was a child, I didn't ask you to. You just did it. And now you're taking care of me. And now, now he's taking care of us. I mean, can you imagine? Look at me. I'm still in my house. I'm not stressing out. Everything's getting paid. Everything's getting done. I'm even doing extra and above and beyond. I get siding and new windows coming. How? Through the grace of God, Mr. Fry is still taking care of us. He was a good man. Yes, he is. I'm going to say is because I don't like that was business. <laughs> so he took good care of us. So today we're going to go to the eye doctor and then I have to travel about 40 minutes to my insurance guy. And I'm going to get rid of my vanity plates and I'm going to get new plates because I'm not paying $100 a year for a vanity plate. No, 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 no. Why? Because millionaires don't spend money on the basics but that's it so I want to become a millionaire why so that I can pay my bills if I need a new car I don't want to make payments I just want to pay for it that's what Mr. Fry used to do if I need say a new furnace I want to pay for it there it is I got to make sure I get through the next 40 years at least if I live that long and I also want to be charitable that's the thing too if I have enough money, I can pass, you know, my friends some money and say, here you go. I'd like to pay this for you or that for you. And, you know, we all need each other. We all need money. And we can all help one another. So that's that. All right, I'm going to go for now and try to make my house a home. The anxiety level is, like, to the roof. It's getting a little better. You know, I highly recommend when you have anxiety, because what that really is is worry, right? You're worried. That's why you have anxiety. That's what anxiety is. Um, try not to take medication, okay? Try to trust God. Exercise that muscle, and it is hard. And if you don't have faith, good luck. Maybe the medication is your faith, which is not a good thing. So we have to exercise our faith, right? When you feel nervous, upset, depressed, believe me, I know all of them very well. They try to greet me every morning as though they're my friends. They keep coming back here. They keep knocking at the door before my eyes even are open. And they're going, hey, hey, pal, wake up, wake up. We're here to play. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I have to fight them off. They're little demons. It really is. Anxiety It's terrible. So I refuse. I refuse to let them in because, and I don't want to take medication for it. Although I understand why people would because it feels better, right? We don't want to. We don't want to feel better because we're we're stoned. Okay. We wanna we wanna we wanna exercise that muscle, and it hurts like hell. But this is the time of desolation. Okay. God. That means that God is still here. He's still with us. That pain. Instead of looking at it like it's like it's fear or anxiety, you just say, Okay, God, that's your hand upon me. You have me. He's in the future. He's in the past. He's all around us. He's in us. He's everywhere, okay? We are here only because of him. And the proof is, is that he wanted to take Mr. Fry. Mr. Fry went into the kitchen thinking he was coming out of the kitchen. Didn't happen. He thought he was going to finish his vacation. Didn't happen. So God hey, mommy, decided. I didn't listen to you. Yeah. Because we would all, all three of us would have been dead if we listened to you. Right. That's a whole other story. All right. So, um, so we're making tacos and um, anxiety. Anxiety is the pits, all right? But all it is is worry. You're just worried. That's what it is. And so if we're worried, we're not exercising our spiritual muscle and trusting the Lord. Do you remember this? <sighs> Look, 
What does it say? Jesus. Oh, it's in a different language. Jesus, I trust in you. That's what that says. See? Jesus, I trust in you. We have to trust. And it's hard. You know why? Because we want to know that we're going to be okay. So that means we have to trust ourselves. If I can trust myself, then I'm, I'm happy. But if we have to trust something we cannot see, God, then it's more frightening, right? Especially over serious matters, like our living arrangements. You know? But God is still taking care of us, bottom line. It's crazy. Crazy good, I mean. All right, I'm going to go feed these children and then go to the eye doctor, go do my license plate. Maybe I'll take you with me. We'll see what happens. Okay. Thanks for listening. It's ready. So now I'm going to do things the old-fashioned way in the fry house. That's what I miss. Traditions. <laughs> I gotta keep them, Sarah. I wanna keep them. Wow, take a look-see. And the wood is in good shape. Excellent.